Ariana Grande, welcome to the hot desk. Thank you. You were spotted at a very young age by a Latino legend. Yeah. In the form of Gloria Estefan. Gloria Estefan. How does that occur? Okay, so we went on a cruise, a, like uh, just like a, a vacation. My family and I went. Um, there was a karaoke night, and I went to the karaoke night, and I sang. Ironically, I sang "My Heart Will Go On" from the Titanic, which is a terrible song choice for a cruise ship. That does not put diners at ease, generally. Worst choice ever. Yeah. But after I sang. Um, like the waiter came over and was like, hey, somebody would like to talk to Ariana. My mom was like, Frankie, go with her. I don't know who this mm -hmm. person is. So my brother and I went um, over to a table and it was Gloria Estefan and she was really, really sweet and just had some lovely, encouraging words. And she was just saying how she was like, oh, you, are, you have a gift and don't take no for an answer. Keep going and you can do whatever you want. And yeah, she was the best. Was and awesome. you were how old? I was like uh, nine. Um, what is on your rider? So the things you kind of like to have if you arrive somewhere? Um, I like to have um, fruit and um, just like lots of bottled water, like flat water. That's really I'm great. getting the feeling you're quite a healthy person. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm a little bit of a health freak, yeah. Yeah. But so you're not, you wouldn't be a kind of like junk foodie binger like after a gig? Not really, no, definitely not. Uh, if we came around for dinner tonight, um, what would be on the menu if it was like your, like your kind of... My house? Go-to stuff, yeah. Uh, probably some sort of like teriyaki quinoa vegetable. It's really good. Ooh. That's what I have like all the time when I'm home. That's my favorite thing. Quinoa, or, that's posh. Oh, yes. Yeah. But it's a healthy one. It is healthy. More protein than a steak. Absolutely. Um, if your mum <laughs> had to describe you in three words, if you're being my mom. your mum, can we call her? I think we should. I'm going to call her. Okay, let's call her. I can't believe I'm going to talk to Mrs. Grande. Okay. What do you say? It's Alice. It's just, she'll know. Saved as mommy in the phone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. How's my daughter? I'm good. I'm... <laughs> I'm in an interview right now. You're on speakerphone. Um, they wanted me to ask oh, you. <laughs> they wanted me. They wanted me to ask you a question. Okay, sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Grande. How are you? I'm good. This is Alice at the hot desk. Hi, Alex. Hi. Joan Grande. I'm very excited to hear my daughter's voice. That's my exact little movie. Oh, I love hearing was... her voice. Hi. She's been a delight. It's been really great so far. Um, <laughs> My question for you is, if you had to describe your wonderful daughter in three words, what would those three words be? Mom? Um, yeah, I'm here. Hi. Uh, genuine. Compassionate. And, and? Loving. Now that is a perfect trio. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. I'll call you later. Oh, is that it? I'm done with my interview? We don't want to talk about hockey now? Or... I could talk to you for hours, Mrs. Grande, but we, we've got a little bit of work to do. Okay, all right. Well, thank you. Ariana, call me. Are you almost done with the day? Yes, I have to go. I love you. <laughs> all right, I love you. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye Bye. Love you to talk to you. I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. When was the last time that you were starstruck? You know, I've, I, I've met Jim Carrey twice. That was a really big one for me. And meeting Madonna as well. Those were the two biggest moments. Am I right in thinking you have a bit of a weird crush on Jim Carrey? I, you know, when I was younger, he was like my celebrity crush. And now I still like love him a lot, but. So that would have been kind of awkward because you've been thinking, I had a big photo montage on the wall of you. Photo montage, screen name, this was like Jim Carrey fan 42, that was my screen name. Um, I had like, I think my mom tried to get me his shirt that he wore in Bruce Almighty, like it was the weirdest. Oh my gosh. But I loved him. That's not just fun. I still that's... love him, I love him a lot. He's a great actor, yeah. but that's slight obsession. Yeah, I, I, oh, for, oh, sure, for oh, sure. Oh, I good. had a birthday party for him. I, yeah, I had me and my friends, I invited my friends over. I, I mean, I was really young. I was very young, I was like eight years old, nine years old, but I had like <laughs> a birthday party for him. For his birthday? For his birthday. That he didn't attend? He did not attend. I was disappointed. 
I can imagine. I don't, I've very rarely been speechless, but that has, that's taken my breath away. Now, our favourite game at the hot desk is call, text or reject. So I'm going to give you three names. You have to decide whether you would call, text or reject them. Okay. It's a very self-explanatory title. Uh, so you wake up in the morning and you've missed three calls. Jay-Z, he wants to produce an album with you. Steven Spielberg, he's directing a new horror film and wants you for the lead. Lord. I know. Andrew Lloyd Webber, he's putting on a Broadway production of your favourite musical and wants you to star in it. This is intense. I want all three opportunities. To be real. I'll see what I can do. I mean, right now it's just a game, but right. I, I can see what I can make happen. All right. You're going to work on it? I'll work on it. You'll call Jay-Z. I'll maybe just DM Jay-Z okay. and I'll... Uh, Steven Spielberg, you'll call him too? You'll DM him too? I'll fax him. All right. You'll fax him. Yeah. And will you page Andrew Lee I'll Weber? probably page Andy. Okay. Yeah. Then there's no need to go over it then. There we go. That's why you're the best at this You're going to take care of it for me. <laughs> That's why. Do I get 15%? Yeah. Oh, good. Ariana Grande, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All that is left to do is for you to sign the desk sign if you want the to. Desk. Yes, I do. Red pen or black pen? Uh, black.